everyone. So how about that intro though? You know, I am living for that intro. Anyways, first thing I want to do is go ahead and give a shout out to my inspiration for this look. Her name is Nellie Rishia. I hope that I am pronouncing her last name correctly. I might not be, but I'm going to put her information in the description box below. She is on Instagram. She is an expert body painter, and I was absolutely blown away at some of her work. But to go ahead and get the tutorial started, I am starting off by priming my face with Benefit's Professional Primer. I want my pores to look as small as possible, as smooth as possible, so that will be the first thing that I do is get my skin prepped. So next thing I'm going to do is cover my brows. I have generally dark brows and I want to make them red. So I can't really just go over it with red shadow or a red crayon. I would have to go and put a base to cover them a little bit because I do color them dark. So I thought going over with a white base would be perfect, but it doesn't. It ends up turning pink. So I had pink brows for a hot minute as you are about to see. If I was to go over this again, I would definitely use maybe a concealer if you need to cover them. Some of y'all may not need to, but for me, I had to just because they're so dark. If you have lighter brows, you'll probably be able to just use a red pencil. This is the look I make when I'm trying to figure out how to fix my pink eyebrows. Yep, still trying to figure out how to fix my pink eyebrows. So what I ended up realizing is just to make sure that you pack on the product as much as possible to get the most color payoff. The most pigment that was put on my brows, the better it looked. So yeah, after having done that, just use some kind of red cream, like a pencil, and then go over it with a red eyeshadow, and your eyebrows will be set. Right now I'm going in with an M411 brush, and I'm taking a red eyeshadow, any kind of red eyeshadow that you prefer. I went ahead and set and primed my eyelids with some NYX primer, um, no, concealer pot in the shade Fair. And I just cleaned up my eyebrows with that also. And now I'm just going to start building up the crease. And I'm just going in with the red. Again, trying to avoid this looking pink. It's probably one of the hardest things to do. I probably could have gone in with a yellow eyeshadow up under this to prevent it from turning as pink. I don't know. But honestly, I think that the easiest thing for me here was to just keep packing on the red eyeshadow and building it up enough so that the intensity just kind of eventually looked more red than pink. Okay, so for eyeshadows, I'm going in with three different colors, or maybe more. I'm using Morphe Brushes Palette 35C in the reds in that palette. I'm going in with Huda Beauty's Rose Gold Edition Palette Man Eater, which is the pretty red shade in that palette. And I'm also using NYX Primal Colors Eyeshadow in the shade Red. And I'm basically just transitioning between all of those colors and trying to make this look as red as possible. And I'm also doing the same thing up on the bottom lash line as well. Next, I'm going in with some liquid lipsticks. I'm taking a flat shader brush from Body Ecology, and I'm dipping it in the shade ColourPop Creeper, and I'm also mixing it with Wet n Wild's orangey red shade. It's their liquid catsuit line that just came out. It's their liquid lips. And I'm basically just going to kind of carve out my crease with this color, and I'm also going to basically just build up the red intensity and liquid lipsticks are awesome they just are hell to get off later on the liquid lipsticks do dry down matte 
but to intensify it more, I'm going to go back in with some of those red eyeshadows and a Sigma Blending E25 brush and just make sure everything is very seamless and blended. And next for this look, I'm going to try to do a very thin liquid line. I'm using NYX Matte Black Liner. And then next, I'm going in with Lights Camera Lashes Mascara by Tarte. This mascara is extremely good for separating. And for this look, I don't want the lashes to overpower anything. I don't want them to stand out that much, but I do want them to look more elegant, I guess. So I am using this mascara just because it does separate very well. And then I'm going to go in with some lashes. I'm using Ardell lashes in the number 160. These are tapered at the end, which in the original picture, she has very sparse but long lashes. Okay, now I'm moving on to the face, and I'm taking a glass dish, and I'm going to put some of this white face paint on that I just got from a Halloween store. And I'm very nervous because face paint and I do not get along. If you don't have a really good brand of face paint, I feel like it doesn't work as well. This is just my opinion. It's very hard to maneuver. And at the time, I did not have time to go get any of um, Mayron's face paint, which is my fave. But I've run out and I need to go get more. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and attempt to trial and error this. I am also going to use Kat Von D's Wide Out Concealer, which is, by the way, the bomb. It's my first time ever using it. It's great for this look. It's very pigmented. It's easy to work with. It does dry down pretty fast, so it is one of those things where you kind of have to lay it down and go ahead and blend it out with a beauty blender. So as you can see now, I'm just kind of trial and erroring with this face paint first, and then I'm going to go over with the white out concealer afterwards. All I kept thinking while I was doing this was, please don't let me look like a geisha. Please don't let me look like a geisha. Oh my gosh, I look like a geisha. Okay, so the face paint and I were not jiving very well, so I will tell you that I ended up using Whiteout Concealer, the Kat Von D, all over my face. I would just place it down in certain sections and blend it out, place it down, blend it out, because it does dry so fast. Right now I'm setting my face with RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. It is very important to use a no colored powder to set your face and it's very important to set this as well. I can't stress that enough. Um, next you're going to see me mess up again. I ended up trying to do a red contour but I forgot that you can't put red on top of white because it's going to look pink so I ended up looking like this. A clown. So we're going to try that again and we're going to use a gray or black, whatever you prefer. prefer. Um, I used gray just because I didn't want it as harsh. It's very important to use a very soft hand when you start to chisel out your cheekbones because you don't want it to grab that much. So always start off soft and then go. The colors that I'm using, by the way, is the gray and the blackish color in the Morphe 35C palette that I had been using the reds with also. Right now I'm lining my waterline. I'm just using a lip liner. This is Boutique's real red lip liner. You can find them at Sally's. They're very inexpensive also. And next I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with that same exact lip liner and then I'm going to fill in my lips with the same liquid lipstick that I used on my eyelids. It's Colourpop's Creeper and I also at the end of this ended up putting a gloss over it. I wanted it to give it that 
bloody, vampire-y lip look, and when you put a gloss over it, it almost looks like blood a little bit. So I would highly advise you to try to use a gloss on top of this also. Okay, and now for the body. I ended up taking some of that face paint and then going over some of the spots with concealer that I used. And I'm using a Real Technique sponge. I would advise you not to use your really good sponge because it's probably going to get ruined from all of the white paint that you're using. But then I'm going back over and tracing out the lattice work with the same lip liner that I just used. And I'm just going to trace out all of the lines first and then go back over them with the wand of the ColourPop liquid lipstick that I just placed on my lips also. Okay, so now after filling in all of the lines with the liquid lipstick wand, I basically took a MAC 210 brush, which is their eyeliner brush, and I just dipped it onto the wand and started painting on all of the loops around her neck to create the look of lace. And then I went in with the back of a just a normal brush. And I would dip that into the cream paint or the concealer and just make the dots for the buttons. And just kind of like freehanded it. You can be really creative with this part. You can make it your own. Um, it took a long time to do this, but it was well worth it in the end. As you can see, I just kind of recreated the look as if she had some sort of lace top on her coming up her neck also. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I am shading in the lattice. And the basic way that I try to think about this when I do it is pretending that there is sun above me and picking out the direction the sun is coming from. If you're looking at my screen right now, I decided that the sun was coming from the far right. So everything up under to the right would be shadowed up under it. I also, if I could go back over and do this again, I would suggest using a more brown or a cool tone for a shadow and not the red. If you like the look of the red that I'm using, then totally by all means do that. But now that I've done it, I decided if I was to recreate this look, I would go in with a different color for the shadowing. I am going back in, by the way, using my Sigma Blending E25 brush again just to do the shadowing. This brush is great and it's a small travel size brush so it was perfect to fill in all the shadows. And so by this time I had been filming for almost four hours <laughs> and my eyes are really bad from those lashes. My eyes are so sensitive. Okay, and last but not least, I did go over with NYX Liquid Liner in the shade White, and I just painted over some of the highlights, which would be the top parts of the lattice, just so that it pops a little bit more. All right, you guys, this concludes my very first Halloween makeup tutorial. I do have another one that I should be filming very soon, so subscribe for more, click the bell for notifications, and thumbs up if you liked it. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!